The effects of climate change are already causing a big impact in many places. Examples include melting glaciers and permafrost, increasingly frequent droughts, seasonal changes, increased rainfall, and so on. Therefore, in the face of these adversities, action is taken to mitigate the impacts but also to adapt to them. Despite the efforts and achievements in climate change mitigation, the growing challenges of adaptation in front of the impacts and the growing importance of taking action to address and tackle this problem have become increasingly visible. So, therefore, we have two courses of action. Mitigation that is based on reducing by avoiding greenhouse gas emissions as much as possible and therefore stopping on reducing the rise in global temperatures that we are suffering. To get an idea of mitigation actions that are being carried out, we have the replacement of fuel by renewable energies, the promotion of models to reduce dioxide carbon emissions in industries, tree planting or forest surface recovery to store more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, tech innovation, improvements to carry out processes in the most efficient way as possible, electric cars among many others. The other way would be taking adaptation measures in front of the climate change that look for changes in our behavior, society systems, technology, our economies and the environment in which we live in order to cope with the impacts of climate change. The adaptation actions that have been carried out among others are construction walls, other lifting structures in order to adapt to sea level rises, control fires to prevent the uncontrolled ones from happening, much more efficient purification and recovery systems of water in areas suffering from droughts, promote the cultivation of drought-tolerant crops, among others. In the face of climate change crisis, it is interesting to see what actions the EU has taken in making climate change policies, to understand the current situation and to see what actions need to be promoted and carried out. When it comes to developing adaptation policies, the EU has a long way to go, as in the past it has relied mainly on pursuing mitigation strategies, badly or poorly combined with adaptation, which have not been a priority and this needs a change. Mitigation actions and adaptation actions have recently begun to be coordinated more efficiently. Mitigation measures, although they still need to be improved, but are already getting positive results in recent years, especially in the anthropogenic reduction of CO2 emissions, thanks to trading systems such as carbon taxes or fines that also generate money in which the idea is to be used for climate change mitigation and adaptation purposes. They all make companies invest in low carbon businesses, so it's an improvement. On the other hand, in order to avoid degradation and fragmentation of habitat, work must be done, as there is clearly an economic and interest influence that often continues to prevail over the real needs of the ecosystems. As for adaptation measures, there's still a long way to go. They seem to be less needed than the rest, and initially the EU made each country responsible for the adaptation to be taken, which seems to be changing because an increased control and coordination between states is starting to work out, as they have committed to be spending at least 20% of EU budget on actions that have direct or indirect link to climate change. In addition, a system for monitoring EU budget expenditures has been set up to ensure this goal. This is particularly important as these funds most commonly are going to regions less wealthy than the EU average. With this collaboration, there is more effectiveness in tackling the climate change emergency.